Hello everyone and welcome to my first journaling tutorial. Don't mind these nails. I literally just popped them on because I felt like it would have been faster if I just put these on instead of painting them. So just just don't mind that. I tried to make it look pretty by putting like these little fake flowers and these rocks and stuff. So let me know if that's cute or not. So um, I could never do it again. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to be doing the highly requested how to create the bullet journal base that I use for my spreads. It is a custom one and I am going to walk you through how I do it all. I did a poll on Twitter asking if you guys wanted to see this video and 100% of you said yes. <laughs> Even though there's only 37 votes. I decided to make this video for you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I love talking with my hands. <laughs> this is my iPad, which you've seen before. I think I have the iPad Air 3. So this is what I use for my digital journaling. If you guys have seen my other video, this is what my journal looks like. I have the books I read in 2020. I have my May spread, which if you'd like to check out how I did this, please watch my video. I did a journal with me filming all of this how I do the collages and stuff. I have my main TBR and my new to bookshelves which I have to add more to because I got a lot of things. This is a secret, don't look at it. This is going to be a new spread. We're just gonna try to ignore that. <laughs> this is my selection spread which a lot of people really enjoyed. I don't have a video on it but I did talk about it on my Twitter and this is what we're gonna learn to create today. I use the app GoodNotes and a lot of people were asking how I got this background which looks like a journal. As you can see it's like the pages and stuff like that so I'm gonna teach you how to make this. Today we're going to use the Keynote app which I think comes with your iPad. I'm not entirely sure. It's like a presentation type app. This is the app we're gonna be using. It's completely free. Everything that I'm doing today will be free. First step, make sure you download this app. There's other ways to do it but if you want to do it how I did it, just download the app. Okay, cool. So we're gonna click right here, which is the plus sign at the top. What I like to do is change the dimensions of it, like the size of it. It's usually on wide 16, 9, but I put it on standard 4, 3 because it makes it taller instead of wider, and I like the taller look. That's what I do, but that's pers that is personal preference. What? That is <laughs> personal preference. Okay, great. We're gonna select the white blank presentation and this is how we're gonna start it. First, we're gonna start with creating the cover, like the edge of the journal, so it looks like a real journal. And with that, we're gonna first clear these two things out. So we're just gonna delete and we're gonna delete that as well. And now we have a blank space. First, create the edge of the journal, which it looks like an open book. We're going to do that by clicking the plus sign up here. And we're going to go into shapes, this little tab. And we're going to click the rounded edge. This also is personal preference. You can change it to the more blocky edge. But I feel like for a more realistic look, you can do the rounded. And you can control it too. What I did to get like the maximum amount of space was try to make the tiny tiniest gap between that a lot of people try to put like a background so they do quartz or something so it could look like a the top of a desk but I don't really like doing that I like the clean look I have auto snap on and I think that's in here yeah guides I have edge guides center guides and spacing guides it makes everything kind of even so you might have to do that you might have to go in here that's in the more tab and in the guides tab so I drag this little green dot and I make just the slightest curve like that I feel like you can already kind of see what's going on here so now it's blue I mean unless you like this blue you keep the blue but I don't really like this blue so we're gonna go into the little paintbrush and we're gonna click in the style section it opens up in text so you just go to style and you pick your color for mine I have like a light blue gray type I have like a grayish type so we're gonna do we're gonna do black today or we can do like let's do something fun let's do like a purple let's do like a I don't know it doesn't matter okay this is where you can customize it however you want for excitement we'll do a pink 
oh i like these textures too these are nice textures because like if you come over to the presets you can do a gradient you can download a picture and use it as like leather or something and then they have like the regular gray ones i think i clicked image and with image it has this like texture and i like the texture i don't know where it came from honestly so i do image like a tile i guess and i scale it so you can kind of see that little texture i'm not sure if you could see it but it gives a little texture and you can click color overlay and fill and you can make it any color you want and here you can control the opacity of it and then i want to make it a little bit more vibrant there you go isn't that kind of cute okay so we're gonna make it a little darker because we have to put the paper and i want you to be able to see it now we have the color of our journal now it's time to add the pages which make it look like an actual journal i'm going to also go back get the same shape that I had before and I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to leave just the tiniest bit of a gap right in between it and that's going to be in the middle over here you want to also make sure it has kind of a similar curve and that it's the same around the edges I've made a lot of these you kind of learn and you kind of experiment as you go and you see what you like and what you don't like now this is where you can also make brown pages black pages white pages whatever but I'm going to show you what I do so I always go for white pages and then that's over Right here same thing boom now you have an open journal to make it more realistic i like to add multiple pages and i like to add shadows and things like that i'll show you how i do that i'll go in here and i'll go to the paintbrush again and i'll do shadow so there's a specific shadow i think it's this one that makes it look like pages that are open so i go in and i add this shadow so it gives it more like a three-dimensional look i'm not sure if you could see it but if you do it it really does make a difference now i go in and i take this page and i tap again and i copy and i paste it and then i'll go to the edge and i'll make it just a tad bit smaller and then i'll go to the shadows again because now the shadows are going to be a little bit different and it gives it that like page look you know what i mean and it gives it like more dimension it makes it look more realistic and then i do that a couple times so then i'll go back in copy paste make it tiny bit smaller and then come back in make the bottom the same length as the first page just shorten the edges of it and there you go that's how you get the little pages effect i hope you can see that so then to make the separate pages i go to the plus side create a line and then i'll make this line a straight line like that and i'll go right in the middle of all of this and then i'll go up to where the page ends and i'll go down to where the bottom of the page ends and then you have a line there but obviously it looks a little harsh not on camera but it looks a little harsh in real life because it's a black line i'll go to here and i'll go to opacity and i'll make it very very light and then you can also add a shadow to the left side to make it look like the light is hitting it there you go that's how you make the journal page like the blank side some people go into more depth and they create like a grid a grid like a bullet journal or like a dotted journal to do that you would just have to go to like pinterest and look up dotted bullet journal like png okay like this one this is a dotted journal you'll just take this and make sure it's a PNG and then just place it on top with add image. You'll just come up here, click add image and you can fit that right there. But I usually leave it plain. You can do lined paper, grid paper, dotted paper, whatever, whatever you like. So I'm going to show you how to create just one side. First page, which can also be the last page. And then I'll show you how to make the cover. You create another slide, you duplicate it. All you have to do is come in here on the first page that you made at the top and just keep bringing them in until they're in the middle in the middle where we first created that line just like that you have the first page with the first page it's easy to create the last one because all you have to do is copy it paste it and then you can actually just flip it over i'm going to show you how to make the cover page now so you just come in you copy you could paste it and you can move it up to the top and then all you have to do is delete all of this so you could delete the pages delete the pages like that and you can even delete that and all you have to do is just push it right into the middle like that and then you have the cover you can go in and make it look more like a journal by putting another line like this you make it a straight line you can pull it just to the edge you know where you get that like that weird line and then once again the opacity make it a little bit um less noticeable 
less obvious that that's what you're doing and the shadow and then boom you can make the cover and then even you can even go as far as creating another shape just to push the edges more sharp here now you have the cover of your journal the back of your journal because you can just flip it the front page the back page and the inside of it so that's how you create the journal now i'm going to show you how to put it into good notes and make these the other pages this is the most important part which is to export it so you export and you make it pdf once you make it a PDF, depending on if you put a background or not, you can actually put print backgrounds or you don't have to do that at all. I'm going to print the backgrounds, so I'm exporting it. All you have to do is save it to your file or you can open it straight to GoodNotes. So it says it will be prepared in GoodNotes, import it as a new document, and there you go. You have your cover journal, the inside of it, and the middle of it, I guess. <laughs> I choose to use GoodNotes. That's just the first one that I learned on. So GoodNotes 5. You do have to pay for it, but it is worth it. So we have the cover page, we have the first page, and then the second, third, whatever page. So all you want to do is duplicate it. So here it is right here. So you can take this cover page and put it into Procreate and you can start your reading journal. That's all for my bullet journal tutorial. It's actually really simple. I know a lot of you guys are probably super excited because it's so simple. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. If you want to see more of these videos and tutorials, please let me know in the comments below and leave a like so I know that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Thank you.